Welcome to our 20 minute restorative yoga full body self care practice. I'm Karen Beginski, and it's great to be here with you on your mat today. We're going to begin with some fluid movement through the spine in all directions that our bodies are able to move. And then we will rest with a few restorative yoga postures. So you'll need a few props for this practice. Gather those up. I'll meet you back here on your mat. Three blankets, a yoga bolster, and optionally an eye covering, like an eye pillow or a washcloth. Let's begin by taking one of the blankets to sit on. So from a semi-thick fold like this, which is a square fold, you'll take one of the edges and place that diagonally up the middle of your mat and then sit with the point of the blanket facing the center of your shins. Take your right palm down to the floor, empty your air here, and then inhale, your left arm comes up and overhead. Side bend, gentle through the stretch, anchoring and softening into those sitting bones on the blanket, and maybe even relax your head and neck here to the side. Continue to breathe more expansively into the whole side that you're stretching through, taking an opportunity to relax into the exhale. One more inhale here. As you exhale, drop this top left arm down to the knee and pull the right hand back behind you, opening into a twist. Allow this right hip to come back just slightly as you exhale and twist open through the spine. If you like, you can take your gaze over the back shoulder if that feels okay. Tune even more into your breath. Starting to slow it down, lengthen it out. Entering into your practice. Now inhale the right arm straight up overhead and exhale, bend toward the left knee at a diagonal. Feel the other side body start to lengthen and open here. Relax the neck and soften through the knees. Just a slight grip here with your hand on the front knee. As you exhale, turn forward and allow your elbows and your arms to cross. And then cross again, hovering the hands toward one another or the backs of the hands to touch or even the hands to the shoulders for eagle arms. We'll pause here at whatever feels comfortable for you, lifting the elbows up, spreading open across the back, relaxing the breath and the neck. As you exhale, release the elbows down, unwind through the arms, roll the shoulders up, down, and back, and come back into your seat, just noticing what's arrived, what's starting to feel unwound and unbound by this simple act of just being with yourself and breathing. And then let's take the fingertips down to the floor again on either side of you, left palm into the mat, Inhale and lift all the way up through that right arm, side bending to start. We'll practice that series over again, but stay in each moment, just right here with yourself, breathing and being, maybe closing your eyes whenever possible during this practice. Starting to tune into how you've really been feeling lately and how this body feels at this moment. Your next exhale, drop this right arm down to the opposite knee, pulling the left hand back behind you, begin to twist, but take this hip with you, twisting open as you exhale to the side, and maybe taking the gaze back if that's comfortable for the head and the neck. Let the shoulders soften down. 
Relax into the hip creases. Let the breath gather more expansively into the rib cage on an inhale. And feel all that space you've created on the exhale to gently twist a little bit deeper. Inhale and lift the left arm all the way straight up. Exhale, side bend diagonally to the opposite knee. Just enough pressure here with your hand on the front knee to keep yourself balanced. Relax the neck. No need to push yourself in this practice. Too often we do that in our lives. So find some softness here, some balance to perhaps the busyness of the day. Your next exhale, turn to face forward and allow the elbows and the arms to come to cross. And then wind the hands either to shoulders or to wrists or palms for eagle, taking those arms straight up and elbows straight out and up in front of you. And just breathing and being here, letting the back expand. Exhale and release the elbows down, unwind the arms. Inhale, lift the elbows up, the shoulders up, back and down. Exhale and relax into it. And now we're gonna come into table position. You can use the blanket here to pad underneath your knees if you like, or take it to the side. Hands underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips. Align the creases of your wrists with the front edge of your mat and flatten the toes onto the floor. Inhale, descend through the belly, shoulder blades glide together, gently gaze forward, lifting diagonally forward with the chin. And then exhale, release the head, upper back, mid back, and lower back arches toward the ceiling. Tailbone tilting under at the very last moment of the breath. And then follow your breath in and out, descending into cow pose. Ascending the spine into cat. Perhaps spending a little bit of time in one of the postures if that feels really juicy for you to unwind any tensions. This is your practice, so take your time to really be present with your body, your full body here. And do what would feel most helpful for it, most beneficial. Find your way to one more complete round so that you feel even with whatever you've been practicing. Ending in cat arching the spine. And then allow yourself to sit back onto your heels. If you had a blanket that you were kneeling on, pull that away. And we'll move into our first restorative yoga posture, which is supported seated forward bend. And we're gonna take a variation. So if you have my yoga book, my restorative yoga book, you'll notice this is the variation of the pose. Grab your bolster and up to three of your blankets. So your bolster is gonna come in front of you lengthways up the mat and your legs will begin to extend forward. Sit on this blanket just like we did in the beginning. So finding one of the edges and taking that up the middle of the mat. So you already feel like you're beginning, beginning to tip forward through your pelvis. You want to make sure when we are bending forward that we're not arching into that low back, that you feel length there. So feel free to double this up if you need. I'm going to take another blanket and fold it to be the same shape as my bolster. This is a rectangle fold blanket. Place that right on top. And then the last blanket, you can fold up into a little square fold and just roll from the short side until you get a big thick roll. Now you're gonna figure out what the best height is for you once we come into it, but let's start by pulling this right foot in and setting the bolster right on top and inside of the left leg. 
and start to lean down just lower as you bend and notice if you lower and you end up quite high, you'll probably want to build these props up a little bit higher to you, folding the blankets higher, maybe even putting blocks underneath the bolster. Or if you're quite high here, you can simply tip the bolster on edge and fold like so. So lots of ways to take care of yourself here and really tune in to what you need. I'll show you where I'm at today. Find your way into the posture. Let your forehead rest on the blanket. And your arms can come to tuck underneath the blanket and the bolster, or you can rest them by your sides, whatever feels most comfortable. Now that you're here, soften the back of your neck and your heart. Although you might feel some sensation in the left leg and hamstring, ensure that it's not too much so that you can feel more restful and at ease here. Guide the breath more fully into your whole back as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, relax into the shoulders, elbows, hands, throat, and forehead. Filling up completely into the lungs from the bottom to the top. Feeling the belly press against the bolster. And as you exhale, soften everything. Stay here for two more expansive breaths. And we'll switch sides. So doing what you need to come out, slowly lift upward with your head. And we will switch by taking the props up and off to the side. Pull the right knee up and in, slide that leg forward. Now the left leg comes in and the props come to the inside of the right leg. Relaxing into the legs, still feeling that gentle curve arrive in the spine. Exhale and find your way into the pose on this side. If you feel a lot of tension on the underside of the right leg, I suggest building up the props and folding forward less so that you may relax. Again, emphasize breathing into the back body. Completely letting go of all the muscles, all the bones on those exhales. Fill up to whatever capacity you have. Whatever you have right now is right for this moment. So breathe into that. When you can no longer breathe in, Relax the breath, relax the body, relax the mind. Take a few more breaths here into the back. Enjoying this feeling of softness that might start to arrive as you let go.
And coming up and out of this side, slowly make your way to rise your heart above your hips. We'll take the bolster forward and off the ankle and then simply extend this left leg long once more. Now we'll transition into supported reclining bound angle where we will end our practice in this deeply restful position. So take your blankets off of the bolster. Bolster will remain as is. With one of the blankets, fold it from this square fold in half to a double square fold. So a thick blanket that goes here at the back edge of the bolster. With your back to the bolster, sit here in a cross-legged position for a moment so we can prepare the other two blankets. I'm going to take them and from this basic fold, take the short sides and roll them up into two rolled blankets, one on either side. So a basic fold is folding a blanket about three times and then you will just roll up that short side forming two rolled blankets. With the blankets here on either side of you, place the soles of your feet together with about at least a foot or so of space, even more in between your heels and your pelvis. Each blanket goes underneath the calf and the upper thigh so the knees are elevated. Now pulling the bolster right up against the edge of your back, lower down as you exhale, whole spine is supported by the bolster, and the head and neck are supported by the blanket. Open your arms into a V shape with the elbows down. If you have an eye covering, now is a nice time to place that over the eyes or simply close the eyes. And check in before you settle into stillness that there's no tension in the inner thighs or the back. Add any additional props so you feel even more restful and supported here. Now let the corners of your mouth lift, just slightly. Relax the eyes, just the corners of the mouth lift. Offering gratitude that you took this time for you to rest, to relax, to take care of yourself, your full body self. Now soften even the corners of your mouth. Let everything go. And remain here in silence until I bring you out. You might choose to pause this video and stay here for longer. But if now is the time to conclude this practice, then gently bring your knees up and in together, planting your feet flat on the mat. Removing the eye covering if you have it. You can press your palms into the floor. Let your chin come into your chest and slowly rise. Lifting yourself upright, extend your legs out in front of you, move the props as you need to the side, and come to a cross-legged position. We'll take the palms together at the heart, bowing the head down to the heart, maybe closing the eyes one more time if they opened. We honor all of the teachers who have come before to bring these practices to us. Take a big breath in and breathe it all out. Relax the hands, open the eyes. Thanks again so much for joining me. Please feel free to revisit any of these movements, adding them into your daily routine for self-care.
If you enjoyed this practice, give it a like. Subscribe if you'd like to practice again together sometime. And let me know how this went in the comments. I always love to hear how it goes for you. I'll see you in the next one.